morning all. Welcome to build day 21. Uh, we're just getting out here. We get ah, tripping over at Kaylee. Kaylee wants to go move her truck. We haven't done that yet. I figured I'd better start the vlog. Give you a little bit better look. Uh, been doing a little work already. Uh, we were just up in the attic dragging skeletons down. Uh, which is going to be our first task. Uh, I've got three skeletons in here, one there, one there, and one there. I've got two over in the pirate I can also put in. I wanted to get them put in because Sue Ann's going to have costuming and stuff to do eventually. And it's easier if they're in. Uh, display we're going to be working on today is over here. The chain hallway. i got to get in here and get chains hung and I've got several displays this one being one of them to do and we gotta get the bride and groom put together and I'm gonna hang one skeleton off the tree if there's room I won't know until I get the bride and the groom in they take precedence and then over here I've got to get Bart the butler and the photo hung, which is probably going to require me to take the plywood down so I can get the picture hung, if there's room with that post in there. And that I have not checked yet, so we'll have to wait and see. But then the rest of the hallway will get some chains, which won't take too long. We might make it over to the photo hallway, which is the next display. I don't know. But we got this display to get done. And then uh, I got skellies I got to get put out. And I have one fence panel to put away. Get Mallard. Huh? Get your truck. Come on. Don't want to trip over it. Uh, this guy here. As I explained yesterday, we're supposed to have a fence panel. He's sitting so goddamn close to where the fence panels are going to go. It's kind of pointless to put one in. And it's sitting right there. That's one that was supposed to go there. That's got to get put away. You know, so I got, I got a few maintenance little things I got to do. But that is our chore for today. Right now, as usual, Kaylee is very excited about getting Mallard. Get your toy. There you go. They're very excited about doing her thing. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Breakfast of the day. Hmm. Fruity pebbles. A bowl of fruity pebbles and some toast for breakfast of the day. Now I'm going to put the camera down. We're going to get going. Figured it was time I gave you a uh, update. I haven't filmed anything since opening, I don't think. Uh, started out this morning bringing skellies out, and Sue Ann's been out here. She's got that one and that one costumed. And she's also been out here uh, doing her painting. she got every, all, everything painted except for the water room, and she can't do that until I've been in there and done my thing. But uh, this picture was the uh, one that was supposed to go in the photo hall. We didn't have room for it. And I had it over in the chain hallway. time we uh, got done with the chain hallway, there just wasn't room for it. So I brought it over here and set it up. And then over here, Joanne just went in the house to get costuming to do the three skeletons in here. And I'll give you a look at those later if she actually gets them done today. If not, you'll get it tomorrow because you'll have it done tomorrow. Ooh, forgot about the manacles. But, chains are all hung with care all the way through. And the manacles go with this guy. And we got her hung with a noose. And I would like to have her a little bit further out so she's dangling from the tree, but uh, that would put her out in the pathway, and I don't want people messing with it. Then we got Bart in there. 
was going to put the bride and groom in there, but there just wasn't room. The groom ended up hanging out past the fence, and that would have been just a big invitation to screw with it. And we got more chains going around this way. And then, uh, got to figure out something to do here. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I know Swan's talking about cobwebbing the whole mess. So we'll have to wait and see. And then we put the bride and groom over here. And she's halfway through a pivot. Normally she, he'll swing back to about here. And then into the exit, into the photo hallway. Now, chain hall is complete as far as I'm going to go with it. I need to get power and lighting and that sort of thing in there. Uh, but over here in the photo hallway, which is our next step, I've got two tubs of photos. I need to get in here and get the photos all installed. Uh, Skullabra still needs to get put together. And I've got two skeletons, one here and one with a Skullabra, possibly, to put in. I got a lot of photos to put in. So, it will take a little bit, but should be quicker than the uh, chain hallway, I'm hoping. I'm hoping to get the photo hallway done tonight as well. So we're going to have to wait and see. I'm definitely going to have to drag my light over here for light here. And once the sun starts going down, that uh, photo hallway being covered, it gets dark in there real quick. <laughs> anyway, time to gather my stuff and get going. She doesn't know I've got the camera. I figure I'd give you a peek at Sue Ann at work. The art of costuming. She always starts at the bottom first. <laughs> I like to look on the radio. Oh shit, he's got that damn camera on. Well, there's Morgan. She was in here picking up garbage. So. Anyway, Sue Ann's working on costuming. She's got the boas on the two goes. She's missing some wigs, though. <laughs> anyway, I think I'll give you another clip. Well, another display done. I just got done doing the photo hall. We're heading over there now to show you. Sue Ann, we have two skeletons over there in the photo hall. Sue Ann even made it in there while I was doing pictures. And, uh, got them costumed. So it's officially ready for the wiring. Ugh, I'm getting tired of running this damn chain haul. <laughs> the problem when you get further and further into it, you have to run the hallways more. But they come through a curtain here and they're faced with Jeremiah. And me and Sue. And we got a light box there. Oh, people should know him. And they should know that guy. And then Chris Stephens, Sandy Schneider. And we got a solo picture of Sue up here. And then me and my wolfie guys. Now the cameos will not be working this year. Uh, that one still works. This one, everything works on her except for the speakers blown on her. Or there's something wrong with the... Uh, the uh, computer computer board, you know, she triggers, her eyes come on, her jaw, her jaw is actually hidden, so it moves, but uh, no sound. And around here, and over to here. Then they have another curtain, 
and this is water room, and I'm not sure how well it's showing up. I do have my headlamp on. This is the next display to do. So I think after dinner, I'm going to drag my light out, my clamp light out, and we're going to work on trying to get things placed in here, because right now it's a damn disaster area. Ugh. And I need to get things placed in here so I know where things are going to go. I can't put them in permanently because we still have liners to do. Like the water wall stacked up over there. It doesn't belong there. It belongs over here. <laughs> so I need to get in and, you know, start kind of straightening up. It might go quick. It might not. I don't know. Uh, the only displays in here that I can do permanently... Or is that one there and this one here because there's no ponds. Everything else has sits in ponds. So, but we'll be doing that and you're probably getting blinded by the headlight. Here, if I'm not, there you go. Okay. We'll see you after dinner. Banana pancakes, fried eggs, Jimmy Dean sausage, and toast for dinner. Yum. Had a really good dinner. Couldn't eat it all. It was always too much food when she does banana pancakes. Uh... We're out in the mess. That is the water room. And it's one of those things is where the hell do you start? I decided I'm going to start with the mermaid. It goes on that rod there and the two dragons here. And I think we're going to have a problem. I'm going to have to dry fit the dragons on the stand. In other words, I'm not going to permanently attach them. I won't do that until after the liner goes in. But, I think because of the mermaid's stand back there and how far it sticks out, the dragons are a fountain, and uh, I think they're going to be too close to the edge. So I'm going to have to do is take that stand off, cut 6 inches, maybe 10 inches off of it, so it sits closer to the... Uh, you know, closer to the stand, and I can literally push the stand back some. Uh, fun, fun, fun. But, I'm starting with her, because one, I want to work over there in that enclosure. That's where Fred and the bubble tubes are going. And, for you that don't know, uh, disgusting looking skeleton sitting that laying down there. That's Fred. He's going over there with the bubble tubes this year. Problem is, the mermaid's in the way. I don't want to knock into her because she's just loosely hooked up on a peg on the pole. And you really bump her and she falls off. And I don't want her falling off and breaking. So I do need to get her over here and permanently amounted to her pole. Which is just a couple of zip ties. But if I'm going to have to make an adjustment on the stand, I need to do it now. <laughs> And then, plus, getting Fred out is going to be a pain, too, because the dragons that go with the mermaid are in there, too, and I need to get them out of the way. If I can get Fred, the two dragons, and zombie bait out of there, then I can put the water wall over here where it belongs. You know, leaned up against the wall, and it's out of the way. That cleans up this area over here somewhat. And I can also get the learning skeleton in, because it goes over in that corner. You know, so I'm... I'm Working on about four different things here. But for right now, I need to get the dragons over here, see how they're going to sit. Or, I just might say the hell with it. And go cut six inches off that damn thing. And be done with it. That would suck it up, uh, suck it back a lot further. And then the uh, fountains on the dragons wouldn't come close to splashing out. So, I think that's going to be our first step, is getting that stand cut. Get back out here, get the mermaid and the dragons over here, and then go from there. Pie of the day. Cherry pie. Now, so far, I've been working on everything but Fred and his enclosure. Uh, <laughs> I was able to cut the pipe down and bring the mermaid a little closer to the dragons, which is fine. And that allowed me to push them back. I'll have no problems with the fountains on those now. Uh, I did get the water wall out of here, which allowed me to move these guys. These guys are my water blasters. They were over in Fred's enclosure. So I got those out of there. I was able to get the Leering Skeleton 
pretty much in place. I still need to make a stand to raise them up higher than the pond. Uh, it's only a cardboard barrel. It can't sit in the water. It has to sit on a wood stand just slightly higher than the water. And then I got the water wall moved over here. Which is going to make Sue not too happy. She was going to come in here tomorrow and paint the pond frames and anything else that needed black in here black. I'm going to have to move the leering skeleton out for her. She's going to have to paint a section and I'll have to move the water wall for her so she can paint the next section. And she'd just rather have it all open so she could just get in here and do it without me having to move it. And I don't blame her on that one. But I'm working with limited space here. <laughs> and this takes a while. But I am ready for Fred's display. And, and you can't see it. Hold on one second. Let me move the light. All right, that's a little bit better as long as I keep my shadow out of it. Uh, I've got two rose bushes, that one there and that one there. That one's okay. I trimmed it down to get the wall panel over it. There's another rose underneath that wall panel. I trimmed that one. This one has not been trimmed down. So we can cut down the main growth, but it needs to go down a little bit lower because it's sitting up way too high or we'll end up with a huge mound of uh, straw. So I'm going to need to get that clipped down and then rake all the dis uh, garbage out of there. And Morgan will come out tomorrow and clean it up but I'm thinking I'm going to put Fred in the back with his larger pack of bubble tubes up front and the two smaller ones normally I mount them to the wall though I might just lean their boxes up against the wall and then put those in I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to have to mess around with that and try a couple of different ways and get Sue out here to yell at me and <laughs> see what she has to say. But Fred is definitely next after I take a breather. Okay, it's 8.38. Kaylee wants to park her truck. Uh, I haven't gotten anywhere in Fred's enclosure over here. Uh, I just had Sue Ann out. We were talking about the bubble tubes and how we want things placed and what we want to do with this enclosure here, which is going to be burnt guy in the barrels. Uh, and that's about as far as we got. I think I'm going to get cleaned up and we are going to call it quits and we'll attack this fresh tomorrow. Looking at what we need to do in Fred, over in Fred's enclosure and with what we're doing in the barrels, we'll definitely have this wa the water room as far as I want to get, get it. And then we'll be in the graveyard uh, tomorrow. So, we are making progress. Now, stay tuned for your end of the day wrap up. Okay, end of the day wrap up. I think we did really, really good today. I uh, got the chain haul done, got the photo haul done, and we got into the water room, and I'm well over 50% done in there. Most of it was just moving stuff around and putting it where it needed to go. Uh, I still have Fred's enclosure and Burnt Guy's enclosure to do. And I'll do those tomorrow. That should take a couple of hours. Hopefully. <laughs> and then we'll be over in the graveyard. And graveyard may take a while. I've got several tubs worth of stuff that goes into the graveyard. Uh, i got to get the boxes and the uh, urns. Uh, into the mausoleum. That'll take a little bit of time and stuff like that. Uh, we'll probably be getting a late start tomorrow. Uh, I've got some errands. I gotta hit Home Depot, uh, get some lumber. Uh, I need more bracing materials and some 2 by 2 so I can get the haunt finished. And I need to hit Best Buy and see if I can either find an adapter or a new power cord for my new phone. So I can actually plug the phone into my goddamn computer so I can download stuff off of it onto my computer. I have a desktop computer. It don't do Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. <laughs> you know, so... I've got to do a manual. I'm hoping they make something for this new jack on the, uh, on the, uh, on the phone.
And Kaylee's sitting here staring at me with those pretty brown eyes of hers. Uh, she wants to me in the house. Huh? Uh, I think she's right. But anyway, probably a late start tomorrow. Uh, you guys won't notice it. <laughs> because the vlog will be uploaded at the same around the same time as it has been. But it is going to cut into the build day tomorrow a little bit. But we're far enough ahead. I'm seeing light at the end of the tunnel. I got basically 25% of the water room to do, the graveyard, and Sue Ann's display. And then we're done with stage two and moving on into stage three. So, not too bad. Stay spooky. Stay toxic.